Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Well, today I have a quick product review for you. It's the Otherworld Computing or OWC Mercury Elite Pro Mini uh, USB 3 external drive. It's a two and a half inch disk drive. This is a 500 gigabyte uh, model. My plan is to use this as my external drive. Um, I've got an internal one terabyte fusion drive for my Mac Mini, which uh, you see in the background there. Uh, but this will be connected up USB 3 and uh, used to store all song files, video files, anything that's working, any working type file. So uh, hopefully to improve performance. This thing, um, I looked a little bit into it. It looked like a pretty, pretty decent um, uh, little drive and it was only like 95 bucks. So I only needed like a half a gig, sorry, half a terabyte, 500 gig for uh, working storage. Uh, so it seems to fit the bill. It's bus powered, which I'm going to use, but you can also use DC power if you want to. But I'm going to try to use it bus powered. It's a 7200 um, RPM drive, so it's pretty fast. Uh, what I'm going to do here is open her up, show you what's inside, and then um, we're going to put it through some speed tests too. So let's uh, take a look what we got here. So you get a little user guide from OWC, which uh, it's pretty straightforward, just to set up instructions. Okay, it's pretty simple. Um, the drive itself, which is uh, that brushed aluminum um, to match your Mac Mini or your, your, if you have an aluminum Mac, if you're using a Mac Pro, you can use this as well. A uh, Mac Pro, uh, MacBook Pro, if you will. Um, nice, it seems like it's pretty well constructed. It's uh, pretty solid. It's got rubber feet on, feet on the bottom, which is good. So on sliding it back here, you got your USB 3 port, you have an on and off switch, and you have your DC in. It's real simple. I'm not even sure if this thing has an indicator light or not. It doesn't really matter to me if it does. Um, I'll know if it's working uh, by uh, being able to read the files as I'm uh, doing mixing or doing video work. So uh, that's it in a nutshell. It's pretty simple. Again, it was 93 bucks at uh, Other World Computing. You can find them on the web. Uh, but let's... Um, I'm going to hook this thing up and we'll, we'll run it through some drive tests. Basically, again, I'm going to just hook it up uh, USB 3, which uh, you also get that cable in the box too, which is good. You don't have to buy an extra cable. It's right there, a USB 3 cable. And you um, should get pretty good uh, read-write speeds on this uh, and, and hopefully enough to be able to uh, use it for, uh, for DAW recording and for uh, Final Cut Pro video editing. So let's take a look and uh, see what, how quick it is. All right, guys. So now, what I want to do is I want to um, test out the um, the speed of the uh, the Mercury Elite Pro. Pretty easy implementation. I just hooked up the um, USB 3 cable to my Mac Mini, which has a USB 3 port, and then connected it up to the Elite Pro, turned it on, and it came on pretty easily. And I ran through some formatting, so that was pretty simple. Now what we'll do is let's um, let's boot up the uh, the application that we're going to use to test. It's Black Magic Design. You can get it for free on the Apple um, application store, the App Store. Pretty 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 cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stress it at one gigabyte file size, and I'm going to uh, first we're going to target the. Um, um, my uh, internal drive, which is a um, one terabyte fusion drive, give you an idea of the speed of that. So here we go. Well, that's pretty fast. 274, 414, lightning speed reads on the, the fusion drive. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm really happy with that. So we'll cut that off now. Now let's select the, um, the, uh, the new drive. Here we go. Again, we're doing, using one gigabit file size, so we've got 120 on the rights, and we've got uh, about 123 on the read side, so pretty fast. Certainly should be fast enough for um, Studio One. Um, and um, 
I don't see any issues with that at all. That was kind of that's that's 124 megabytes per second. That's pretty fast. Um, I can tell you that I did copy over uh, one gigabyte file from my internal drive to this new drive, and it took five seconds to copy a one gig file. So that was pretty cool. Now, unfortunately, I'm well, I'm going to try to to show you here um, how we uh, how it works with Studio One. Let's let's see if we can do that. All right, so I've, I copied a file, uh, a song file, Studio One song file. It's an original blues song that I've been working on. So let me pull pull that up here. So you'll see how quickly it loads. It's about an 850 meg file. Loaded pretty loading pretty quick. I got a bunch of presets and stuff on there. Uh, sorry, a bunch of plugins on there. I'm using um, uh, Ozone quite a bit, and as well as some wave files. So. This is it. So let's give it a test here. This is running the song file on the Mercury Elite Pro 7200 R, um, RPM drive. So let's give that a test here. It's working fine. So now what I'm going to do is let me just make a change here, and then we'll save it, and we'll see how quickly it saves. Well, that was pretty quick. <laughs> so this drive is fast. Um, it's certainly fast enough, it looks like, to work as an ex external drive for your DAW. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be putting it through its paces using it now as my external drive. I'm going to set it up to back it up with Time Machine as well as on Mosey, so you always want to back up your files just in case. Um, and Time Machine's great for that, and Mosey's great for the off-site. So i um, pretty pleased right now with this. So let's, um, you know, we'll put it through its paces, and, you know, I'll probably put a comment on this video a few weeks from now, letting you guys know how satisfied or I'm in, I am with it or what the status of it is. I should also mention that this drive is extremely quiet because it doesn't have a fan. It's basically a fanless design. It's got it's well ventilated. Uses the um, the uh, the aluminum to dissipate the heat, and it's got a very quiet drive. Um, hardly hear it. So, in a studio environment, environment, it would work very well from a uh, from a from a uh, noise perspective. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful. Again, it's the Elite, it's the OWC Mercury Elite Pro 500 gigabyte USB 3 drive, um, and it's 7200 RPM. Um, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. I've got more stuff coming uh, all the time. Um, my, you know, my goal is to help others learn about home studio and uh, putting together home studios or you know home studio topics. As I learn, I try to pass that stuff on to others. So hope this was helpful. Please like the video if you liked it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.